Oh. Who are you? Check it. Oh, hi. What's up, guys? It's your boy Villain here again, and I've got a top 10 for you. I've got a feeling this is going to be an A shredding session. What I have for you today is my top 10 jumps. So to qualify as a drop or jump in my book, it's got to be at least 500 foot uh, elevation change. These are the big jumps, or as my fellow Yeti likes to say, booters. Booters. Yes, these are the booters. You can't just go off a little tiny bump and expect to, to make the top 10. That's just not how this works. I threw in a couple little ones for the newbies here. Since the game went on PS Plus for free, it has been full of people, which is awesome. I love it. Um, so I took a break out of whooping your asses in multiplayer to make this list for you. Let's get into it. Number 10. Silver Fall in Alaska starts off this list. It is the only Alaskan jump and man move kicker to make my top 10. Nothing too crazy here. You just gotta nail the run up and then send it. Send this thing into a living. Alaska does have uh, plenty of other big jumps, but honestly, they all seem too easy. Not very difficult, so that's why I've only got one here in my list. I named this one the 90 meter jump because it was the pretty much the same jump everybody did when they first started out to get that achievement. You know, it felt good to hit it at the time, but there's so much bigger jumps in the game. So this one's just for the beginners to either try and get that achievement or practice the grabs and warm up. It's a good little jump. Here we got Barely Legal, named because it's just that. It's barely 500 foot. Uh, the only reason it made the list is because, uh, quite frankly, it's got a really, really nice setup afterwards for some pretty good lines. Uh, but this one's totally for the beginners. And doing this jump will not get you drinks water for all. Now we start getting into the harder jumps. Here we got Diploma Day. We named it this because this is your graduation. Uh, if you hit this, congratulations. You've stepped up your game and now you're ready to party with the big boys. Welcome to the VIP section. Watch out, on the Made that music. Into the Abyss. This one is tough. It's a long run up. It's a very, very small spot for a good takeoff. Um, if you don't hit the right spot, you're never even gonna come close. You're gonna hit every single wall, every single rock on the way down. And the landing sucks. It's a knee buckler. You just absolutely crumple your legs on the landing. But damn, it feels good when you finally nail it. Now that's how you do it out here. Made that music. This is the OG. Name that because it was previously the biggest jump in the game before Japan DLC came out. Uh, this was the record holder. This is the big one. Really not that difficult, but for some reason, the day I was doing this, I could not stick the landing. It was giving me such trouble. Um, so honestly, I, I never got a video of me landing clean. This is the best I could do. And after an hour, I was done. But it is a really good drop to hit, and I think it's still the second biggest jump, so go get it. the definitive Matterhorn jump in my book. Uh, everything about this jump screams Matterhorn. The run-up sucks. The takeoff sucks. It's such a small room for error. Uh, it's a great jump, one of my favorites in the game. Because when you land it, it just feels good. And the lines afterwards uh, are awesome. So enjoy this one. I named this one my eternal respect because that's what you get if you make this jump. It's a good jump, but it takes it takes some minute uh, planning to get it done. You have to jump over this little hump, 
first. You can't just glide over it. It will send you into the unknown. You have to do this jump perfectly. I love this jump. This is the send it. I actually, I think this is the first time I've ever done this jump. Uh, Scanning Mountain View, I found this one. The run up is awesome. It's pretty easy. The takeoff, not terrible. Landing zone, pretty good. Obviously, if you don't get enough speed, you're duffing it. But this one just felt really good to hit. I love this jump. Gosh, smash that jump. <laughs> Made that music. The big one. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out where on this list this one should go. At the end of the day though, it is the biggest jump in the game by far. It's longest air time, you can get the most flips out of here. Actually, this is a video of, of me doing 13 backflips off of it, which as far as I've seen, nobody else has done yet. So I'm claiming fame to this one. Just based solely on pure size, it had to be number one. I had to put it here. Good job. Enjoy it. Have fun. So there you go. That's my top 10 list. I have many, many more jumps actually that I still, that were, that were contenders, but this is my current top 10 list. So go out there, hit these jumps, make videos of you doing these jumps. I want to see them, especially some of the harder ones. Enjoy. I hope you like, let me know if there's one I missed, you know, tell me about it. I want to see it. Till then, peace out, guys. Check it.